What's going on, Matty? Staying warm? Yeah, how are you guys? Doing our best. It's uh, it's usually freezing in the Saddle Dome when there's nobody in here and you're here all day. Uh, today it's uh, it's like a vacation from outside. So that's uh, that's. Good. And working from home when it's minus forty five, Matty, I'll take it. I'm not gonna lie, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is nice, but that's the Saddle Dome's cold during the games. Like when we're up there for the games, I like guess it's, yeah, it's not uh, that warm. But um, hey, it's nice to be there, and it's definitely better than outside right now. That's for sure. No doubt about it. Hey, I, I wanted to start with uh, I wanted to start with the news out of Columbus or the conversation out of Columbus where John Tortorella, their head coach, back in the spotlight. He benches Patrick Laine uh, for the third period and a little bit of the second period last night as well. I know you never played for the guy, but you've been around. You were in the NHL for a uh, decade and a half. I, I'm just from from who you've spoken to for guys who have played for him and from what you know about John Tortorella. What would what would playing for that guy be like? Do you think? Um, well, I think it's what you make of it. It's definitely um, you know he's going to demand the most out of you, but but that's what you want as a player. So I don't think that that's asking too much. Um, you know, I think you know one thing I, I've seen from the outside, and I've played with coaches, is um, you know where you stand. Um, you know, it's about honesty, and, and that's the way he shows you. If he, if he thinks you're not giving it your all. Um, you're not going to play. He doesn't care what, what point of the season it is, um, you know, what point of the game. Um, he, he has his visual of, of what your effort is and what you bring to the table. And he, if he thinks you're not giving it your all, you're, you're on the bench. Um, so you should know how it works there um, before you come in. I, I haven't watched Lion A and his performance. He, he has three goals. And, you know, I don't think I, I can't speak to how he's played overall. But, um, you know, I, I just think that's the culture there with, with a coach like that. Uh, and, and that's a lot better than having a coach who, you know, sometimes sits you and you don't know why. Because um, you're the first person as a player uh, that knows if you're playing well or not. Um, so if you get benched, um, you usually, usually know why you're getting benched. And um, it'll be interesting to see what, what Lionel has to say about it. But he, he knows right. he can be better, and, and, and he's got to respond. They, so, because I, I guess with, with Tortorella, the – the thing that has always followed him around has been, well, his his message eventually wears thin or eventually, you know, his message grows tired inside a locker room. Why does that happen? Is is that something that, that just comes from hearing the same voice or is it a, a certain personality that can sometimes wear thin a little quicker? Yeah, I, I think his style of coaching probably caters more so. I think it's obvious to um, you know, hard workers, depth guys, um, you know, guys that leave it out there all the time. But, but sometimes that's a dangerous, you know, line to, to walk because, you know, the stars, the, the, the guys you need, the guys who put up goals, which is the hardest thing to do in the league, um, they don't always uh, go out there or can go out there and, and play that way and be at their best. They, they just think differently. It's just a different mentality. Um, you know, it, it was easier for them growing up because they're so skilled where, where he seems to cater to the guys who, who work for everything. And he wants everybody on that level playing field. So for sure, it, it, it's, a, it's a challenge for, for the stars who, you know, sometimes some games, they, they, let's be honest, they, they just wait for their power play time and, and if they go out there and produce on the power play, you know, things are good. Um, but yeah, that'd be, uh, it's challenging. But you know what, I, I honestly you have a culture set there and I feel like that team knows um, the way they want to play that they've, they've had some success the last few years with their lineup. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, the, the stars, the, the more skilled guys seem to, you know, have some fits there and struggles, but um, you know, the way it is. So if you're going to play there, that's the way it is. And, and you got to buy in to help your team. And, and if you have any, you know, if you don't want to be there, it seems like they're, they're not shy with uh, you know, what, we'll find a, a different spot for you. And that's what they did with Dubois. In in Toronto and Calgary, you had a number of different coaches throughout your career, and even in Calgary, Brent Sutter, then Bob Hartley, then Glenn Gullitson. Like you, you had a, a number of different coaches throughout your career. How how much does a coach affect what happens for an individual player, and more so for you? How much did each individual coach affect how things went for you? Uh, it's it, it's a big deal. I think uh, you know. It, the, the main thing is you want to know where you stand and, you know, honesty is the best way to put it. 
you know, if a coach is honest with you, um, you can disagree with them and you can talk about it. Um, but at least you know where you stand with them. Um, you know, my biggest thing was when a coach, when you know you're playing well and giving it your all and you see other guys in the lineup aren't playing well and then you're the one that's getting scratched just because, you know, they want to make a change or you're the older guy. Like, that that's what irked me a lot. And and it's a bad example um, for the whole dressing room when, when you do that. And, and I've had many coaches do that, um, you know, uh, if, if you weren't honest and you did that to a player that's um, valuable to that dressing room, it, it, it affects that room in different ways. And uh, I think that's something people lose sight of sometimes because there is a, a dynamic in every dressing room with, uh, you know, with the team and, and the bonding and uh, the chemistry in there. So um, if you can hold everybody up to standard and expect, know what to expect from each individual as players You know, it should be easy for coaches, um, but sometimes coaches, you know, play these mind games and and I don't know why they do it because it doesn't seem to serve or it doesn't serve anybody um, well, including themselves. Final one on this subject for me, Maddie, and that's just kind of what you talked about at the end there. And and I think we can kind of put a nice little bow on it because I know Cam Atkinson talked about it last night in Columbus. He was asked about the benching of line A and kind of, you know, this is not the first time, especially this season that it's been the spotlight in Columbus, especially with the Dubois thing. And, you know, Atkinson kind of said that he's been that guy before Max don't always been benched line. A will know better going forward. And, and just to kind of what you were speaking about, like how, how much is it on the coach to kind of set that standard? And yes, some of that's on the leadership group, but um, you know, for a guy like Cam Atkinson, who wears a letter in that room, um, kind of taking the side of the coach and saying, yeah, the players have got to be better. And, and we know that. And, and Torts has done a great job his entire time here holding us to that standard. That, that's an important part, too. That, that really shouldn't be lost in the shuffle, right? No, definitely not. And, and let's be honest, the coach, the coach controls the minutes. That's, that's the, the most important thing on any hockey team. So um, for players, you, you – you go out there, you play your best, you know, you got to make the most of your situation. And, you know, every player wants to play more. Every player wants to play on the power play, but the coach is going to do whatever they can to, to maximize their roster. And, you know, it's just an easy conversation where, you know, I hope that him and Lina just, you know, why did I get benched? And there's an honest answer. And, and Lina, you know, is like, hopefully he should have known before, really. If you don't play this way, you're not going to play. Um, but just, you know, it, now it's up to line to know what he needs to do, what the coach expects of him. But it is a slippery slope when you're, when you're dealing with, with the guys who put up 30 goals every year. Um, cause, uh, whether you like it or not, those guys, um, do hold, uh, you know, the cards with, with, uh, you know, having power play time and they score the most goals, which is 